back. Today we have part five of my makeup declutter series here on my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Jess. I love makeup and I really love lip products. So if you guys missed my part one through four, I've gone through my bullet lipsticks was was the uh, last video that went up and I've gone through bronzers, blushes, highlighters, foundations, all that stuff. So make sure to check out those other videos. I will link the playlist down below in the description box. So definitely go check that out. So today I want to cover liquid lipsticks. I'm going to try to squeeze in my lip glosses and any like lip tints, lip balms. We're going to be doing a lot of swatching today. So make sure to grab a cup of coffee, a snack. These videos are usually pretty long. So I hope this encourages you to go through your makeup collection and you know, just check and make sure if things are expired because I know lipsticks can go bad pretty quickly. So as a disclaimer, you know I have to say it, please don't ask for my used makeup, especially lip products. I don't feel comfortable giving to you guys. <laughs> so um, please don't ask me for my used makeup. Trust me, you don't want that. Anyways, let's go and get into this video. We got a lot of things to swatch today and it was a lot of work, but I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do it. All right, guys, good morning <laughs> and welcome to another declutter. I've got some iced coffee. Oh my gosh, I am so caffeinated right now. I'm ready to go. I made a iced peppermint bark, like iced coffee with vanilla creamer. Oh my goodness, so delicious. And um, yes, <laughs> I am caffeinated, ready to go, okay. All right, so today, um, hopefully I mentioned in my intro, today we're covering the rest of my lip products. I got liquid lipsticks, glosses, lip liners over here in this section. So I think I'm gonna tackle the liquid lipsticks because that's the majority of what I have. So these two I wanted to mention really quickly because they're actually leaking and I think they've, I don't know if they've gone bad or what, but something weird about this packaging like they're leaking. These are from Melt Cosmetics. I actually love their liquid to matte lipsticks. Um, but for some reason, I mean, I've had these for quite a few years, so maybe I just need to toss them out. But I love, love this formula so much. So I don't know. I'm going to hang on to these for right now because they're still really good. The formula is still really great. Again, it is my favorite formula, but I'm just nervous to buy more of these because I've had that issue with these leaking. So I have two liquid lipsticks from Anagerie Cosmetics, which I really do like them. They are an indie brand, I really like their packaging. Now I was obsessed with their original formula and I haven't used these in a while, so I definitely need to pull them back out, but I'm definitely gonna be keeping them. They're both really unique colors. I have the shade Armadillo, which is like a true gray, like legit. Um, I am not the biggest fan of this formula from my memory. My memory serves me right. Um, I also have Gator, which is a green. So I'm not gonna keep these until, you know, they go bad or whatever. Um, unique colors, and they do have, you know, some really fun ones to choose from. So yeah, not my favorite liquid to matte formula, but a lot of people do love them. So um, definitely check them out. They are a really great indie brand. All right, so e.l.f. Cosmetics. So they came out with liquid lipsticks quite a while back, and they also have these ones called the Sheer Matte Liquid Lipstick. I actually really like this formula. It's really different. It's, it they don't dry down completely. I don't know, it doesn't smell right. I, I do remember liking this. I, I'm gonna try it a couple more times to see if I like this formula. I don't even know, honestly, if they still sell these or not. So I'm gonna hang on to this one shade. It is a really unique formula. It's not completely liquid to matte, but it's still a liquid matte lipstick. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's such a weird formula. These are probably one of my least favorite drugstore liquid to matte lipsticks, the formula. Um, they are very opaque and I, I love that these are like the the OG colors like I have Tea Rose, Blushing Rose, and Praline which I know Praline and Tea Rose are really popular well-loved shades over the years and they're definitely some of my favorites but unfortunately I just really don't like this formula. I find it so drying and it really just sucks the life out of your lips so not something I would recommend. I don't know if they still sell these or not so these are very old so these are going to go. So I have two random shades from CoverGirl. I'm so happy to say that CoverGirl is cruelty-free now, which is so exciting. I really wanna try more from CoverGirl in 
the new year in 2022. Um, I just remember loving them when I was a teenager growing up, going to the store, picking out makeup. I just, it gives me all the feels. So this is called their uh, CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte lipstick so it is a liquid to matte i haven't used these in a while but i love these two colors i have the shades aristocratic which is this darker nude and then this one's called ballerina i haven't really reached for them a whole lot so if i don't reach for them this year they need to go <laughs> in 2022 so i'm definitely gonna hang on to these and i'm always on the hunt for like good quality liquid lipsticks from the drugstore. I do have a random one here from KVD Vegan Beauty. This is in Hawkwind and this used to be one of my favorite liquid to matte lipsticks when I was much younger and I could tolerate very drying products but I actually don't like this formula anymore. But I do love this color. I'm gonna try before this goes bad um, to find a dupe for this because I love this color. All right, moving on to Glam Goth Beauty. This is another indie brand that I really love and I finally got to try them this past year. I did a full video, definitely check it out. It's already on my channel. I do like these, the packaging's super cute. I have three shades, um, Salvation, Renegade, and Parish. The only one I don't like is Salvation, so I think I'm actually gonna declutter this one. I just don't like this color. Let me just show you, it's like a peachy, really strange undertone nude. Um, I guess you can mix this with the other two shades, but honestly, I really don't do that very often. So I'm actually gonna let go of this one because the color just looks so, it looks so ugly on me. <laughs> it looks so bad, you guys. It's, it's just, it's really, really bad. <sighs> Unfortunately, I do find this formula to be a bit on the dry side. So again, I do like to wear a lip balm underneath it, but they really are pigmented. Uh, her brand is awesome, cruelty-free, and, you know, they're they're really great. All right, my one and only from Black Moon Cosmetics, another really great indie brand. So when they first, or when I first tried this brand, I loved their liquid to matte lipsticks. It was so comfortable, cushiony, they weren't overly drying, and then they reformulated. I can't tell you guys how much it breaks my heart when a brand reformulates a really great product. It just, it drives me bananas. Um, but this is in the shade Gloom, and I love this color, you guys. Like, it's such a shame. I love the packaging. I love... I love the aesthetic of the brand. It's definitely kind of like goth, alternative. I mean, these are so creamy and pigmented. Like, ugh, it really is a beautiful formula. And I love this color. I cannot tell you how much I love this color. So that's Gloom. Uh, again, so many people love these and rave about them, but I just find the formula to be different and not as comfortable as they used to be. So here we have Gimme Glow Cosmetics. I have one, two, three, four, five shades from their original formula. This is the old packaging. And then this is the new ones. So I bought four new shades. <laughs> um, so here's the difference in packaging, a little bit different. And I have to mention the formula because I do find the formula is a bit different. Um, I'm still testing them out, so I can't for sure say if I hate the new formula or not. They claim that this is not a new formula, it's the same. I've noticed that the more I wear these, I do like them, but I find that they can be a little tiny bit more drying, but they're still fairly comfortable. And this color here, I swatched one of them. This is the shade Wicked. Oh my God, love this color so much. Uh, so I'm just a little unsure because when I wear these, I notice that if I press my lips together, they stick. And I hate that. I do not want to wear a liquid to matte lipstick that is sticky after it's completely dried. For now, I'm going to hang on to all of them because <laughs> I just, oh, I wish they would have just, you know, kept the same formula because it does feel a bit different. All right, so here's all of my Too Faced melted metallic <laughs> liquid to matte lipsticks. These have been a favorite for quite a few years now. They did send me the full collection and since then I did really condense it down. So these are, these are the ones that I do have and honestly I'm not getting rid of any of them because I love them so much. The real teal, I mean the packaging is beautiful. I love the dual fit applicator. I love how it dries down but it's comfortable formula. I mean, they're pigmented, they're creamy, they're comfortable. This is 
definitely in my top five favorite liquid to matte lipsticks. I have not tried their like matte because th these do dry down to a satin finish or like some of them are more metallic than others. Um, but wow, just I love the formula of these, you guys. Definitely recommend checking these out. So my favorite liquid to matte formula, you guys, is the Balm Cosmetics. It's called their Meat Matte Hues long-lasting liquid lipstick. I have a bunch of the minis that they have sent over to me throughout the past, I don't know, year or so, and I love this formula. I actually really like the mini ones because honestly, are you ever gonna finish <laughs> a huge, you know, bottle of liquid to matte lipstick? Probably not. I mean, unless you wear it every single day. Uh, so I just love the minis. They do sell them in a full size, but the color selection is more condensed. I just love these so much. So I'm keeping all of them. I don't care. Uh, it's my favorite formula and they don't take up too much space either in my makeup collection. So these are all my AOE Studio Wonder Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So I can already tell you right off the bat because I, you know, I definitely take some time before filming to like consider what I'm going to get rid of and what I want to keep. So these are the original Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick Formula. These are definitely very old. I'm actually going to get rid of them. Um, I, I don't mind this formula. I think it's pretty good, but I have to say the new formulation, and I already did a lip swatch video, so go check that out. It's already up on my channel. I'm going to tell you right now, this formula is awesome. This is definitely another favorite formula of mine. I am blown away by the quality. They're comfortable. They have a nice whipped moussey texture. This is one of my favorites. This is Tease, and it's a beautiful, like, cool-toned, dead girl, uh, like a grayish purple. Oh my god. The formula is so, so creamy. I don't know. I think I might just keep all of them. I know I'm not being good with this, you guys, but you know, a liquid lipstick product, you're putting it on your mouth and back into the tube. You cannot sanitize that. It's just not possible. I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep these. Like they're just so, they're so nice. All right. So here are all the shades I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 liquid lipsticks. I know it's not a huge declutter, um, but I'm keeping the ones that I love the most. So that is it for my liquid lipsticks. Okay, let's move on to lip liners. I don't have that many lip liners, but I really do. Like I'm starting to get into lip liners again. I think I took a break for a while, but um, I would like to branch out and try more brands into the new year. I kind of stick to the same ones. So unfortunately, BH Cosmetics was my favorite lip liner formula ever. Um, I have one that's in my Project Pan in the shade Earth, but I do also have these two in Muse and Samantha. So this is definitely uh, something I want to use up this year because you can't get them anymore. So that makes me really sad. Um, these ones you can get. This is from Real Her Cosmetics. They sent all of these over to me forever ago. And it's a really great formula. I have to say, uh, does remind me a lot of the ones from BH. These are getting a little bit old. I've had them for quite some time now, but they're still creamy. They're still going strong. These three are from Glam Goth Beauty, and I finally have a really great black lip liner. Now, these are definitely more of a typical lip liner. These are not long wearing like the ones from BH or from Real Her. I feel like they're still good. Like it's it's a good just basic lip liner formula. So I have the black shade, which is called Apocalypse. I have Rotten, which is a really nice berry wine color. And this one is in Oblivion, which is a really dark, uh, like a dark brown. And then I have these ones from Essence, which are brand new. I just bought these not too long ago. And I do have one shade from ColourPop. This was from their Hocus Pocus collection. This is in the shade Come We Fly. And this is a red. So this is the only red I have which I really do need to get a proper red lip liner. I don't wear red lipstick that often, but that's the one from ColourPop. So these are from Essence. I love these lip liners. They're my favorite like everyday nude shades. Like they're so, so nice. These again are not very long wearing as the one from Real Hair Cosmetics. So if you want just a basic pencil liner, these ones from the drugstore are $1.99. So not bad for the price. 
And so for me, these are just my go-tos. This shade here, my choice is the name. You guys, this is my go-to lip liner. Like this is your lips, but better. It matches my lip color, like almost spot on. It's crazy. So I love that shade. I wear it all the time. So those are pretty much all of my lip liners. I love them all and I really don't feel the need to declutter any of them. Okay, so here's all of my lip glosses. I don't have that many, which is kind of surprising to myself <laughs> because I actually really have been gravitating towards a lip gloss. So these three are from the AOE Studio line. It's the Lip Pop Lip Gloss. These are actually really great. For $1, you really can't go wrong. I have the shade City Girl role model and goddess i honestly really do like these it's a really great formula these are so pigmented and when i say pigmented they are almost like a liquid like a liquid bullet lipstick and a gloss got together and had a baby like look at that pigmentation i'm gonna keep these the formula is fantastic a random favorite this is the lauren conrad the lip gloss it's just a clear gloss in the shade Rose Quartz. I actually went onto her website and for some reason, like the website is gone. So I don't know if this brand even exists anymore, if she discontinued her makeup line entirely. So I don't know if you can get her products, which kind of sucks because I actually really liked her line of products. Everyday Lip Gloss, but it's so hydrating. It actually feels like a lip treatment. So I'll put this on in the morning and leave it on my lips, like right before filming or just like to wear every day. I really love it. So I'm really sad if her brand doesn't exist anymore because I actually really love this so much. I would definitely buy a backup. My one and only lip gloss from the Balm Cosmetics, it's called Plump Your Pucker Lip Gloss in the shade Magnify. This is a sparkly pink. The scent is just like the liquid to matte lipsticks. It's like, like that minty chocolate. Oh, it's so good. This isn't my favorite color, but the formula is so nice. It's not sticky at all. So I am gonna keep this. If I'm ever wanting to like add a little pizzazz to like a pink lip, like nude lip, this looks so pretty over like a, a nudie pink. Another random lip gloss, this is from CoverGirl. I received this free with a purchase I made from them. This is the Melting Pout, a Vinyl Vow lip gloss in the shade. This is called Nudist Dream. This has great pigmentation. Again, not sticky at all. I mean, look at that color. It's such a nice nude. Oh my God, I need to get this out. A little tiny bit of like beige in there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I love this formula. I need to check their website and see if they sell more of these because I love this formula. This I'm actually going to get rid of. I really regret buying this. <laughs> this is from ColourPop. It's the Hello Boys. French Kiss Lip Cream. This was from their uh, Hocus Pocus, the second release that they came out with. I should have known better because <laughs> when it comes to a black lipstick, I prefer it to be like a, a liquid to matte. I mean, it's not a bad formula. I think I would like this better in like a nude, like a nude color. I don't know. I'm just not crazy about it. So I'm going to let that go. So these three I'm actually gonna let go too. I just really did not like this formula, you guys. I was really sad because I did like this collection. This is from the makeup uh, I Heart Revolution. I always get that confused. This is when I did a collaboration with the movie Elf, which is one of my favorite holiday movies. I did a full review on this collection and I just wasn't too crazy about these two lip colors here. I'm just not crazy about these, so I'm actually gonna let them go. I already did a review, so. It doesn't hurt me to let go of that. All right, I'm gonna talk about this one here because this is a limited edition. Thought I would mention it really quickly. This is from Make a Revolution when they did the collaboration with The Night Before Christmas. Loved that collection. I didn't get the eyeshadow palettes, but I did get quite a few of the other things like the brushes, the makeup bags. And this gloss is called Zero. And I cannot bring myself, you guys, to use it because it's just so pretty. Like the packaging, it's just a clear gloss, nothing special. But the packaging, do you see zero? Oh my God, the artwork on here is crazy beautiful. This is more of a collector's item. Another random product I received when I purchased something from uh, Zoya. They have like a sister company called Joa. It's J-O-A-H. 
I've never heard of this makeup brand before, but I did look them up. It's an actual brand. And they sent over this, I think it's like a lip gloss, but it's very thick. It's in, this, in the shade Sun Bum. And it's a really pretty, like, deep, like, milk chocolate gloss. I'll have to get back to you on that. I'm kind of curious about this brand. Um, their makeup looks very, like, everyday wearable type products. So I'm kind of curious to try more from them. All right, so I have two of the Gimme Glow Cosmetics lip glosses. I did purchase this during their Black Friday sale. I wasn't going to include like some of my Black Friday purchases. So this isn't everything, but I thought I would just throw them in since I can already tell you, I love this formula. It's so good. I have the shade Gorgeous Grunge and Stuck Up. This is so good, you guys. It has a nice flat doe foot applicator. When I tell you, look at this color. It's like the perfect grayish nude. They smell like marshmallows or candy. It just smells so good. So this color here is more of like an everyday nude. So this one is called Stuck Up and then this one is Gorgeous Grunge. They're super glossy, hydrating. Oh, this is definitely my new favorite lip gloss formula. And these are actually brand new. I picked these up from Meyer because I've heard everyone rave about the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper lip glosses. And so I picked two shades to try out. I have Soft Rose and Sparkling Pink. And can I just say, oh my goodness, these are fantastic. You guys, I think this is going to replace my beloved e.l.f lip plumping glosses because this formula is just so it's so nice like look at that they're so pigmented so glossy now this one the shade sparkling pink the color is really weird you see how it's kind of discolored or like it's almost like the color wasn't mixed properly <laughs> so hopefully this is the right color this was a little too bright of a pink i was hoping it was more like a sheer nude it makes your lips looks so plump and this doesn't burn either i like that these don't have that insane like lip plumping feel like a bee sting yeah i don't really care for that <laughs> all right so here are the rest of my lip glosses these are all from elf cosmetics i can already tell you i'm not a fan of this formula anymore i can't believe i'm actually going to say this but this used to be my favorite lip gloss from the drugstore it's the lip plumping gloss from elf I've been using one of the shades recently and I just don't like it. It's very thick and I find it to be very sticky. So I don't know if they've gone, I'm, they're definitely old. Like they, a lot of them have gone bad. So I'm actually gonna let go of all of them. I'm actually gonna toss this one out too because it's extremely old. It's the Alyssa Ashley gloss called Nude Rose. This was really pretty. Um, I'm not gonna swatch it because it smells funky. Like it definitely smells really off. I think I have one more in my backup drawer where I keep all of my favorite products that I have extras of. Uh, so I don't know if I'll get that out anytime soon, but it is pretty. It's a very thick gloss though. It's very pigmented. It's a nice nude color, but I'm just ready to get rid of it. And yep, it's going. Okay, last but not least, these are the e.l.f. Uh, lip lacquers. I actually really like this formula and I think this I prefer over the lip plumping gloss these are not sticky at all it's more of a gel formula and this is the kind of gloss i actually really like i do like the ones from milani don't get me wrong but i love this kind of sheer sparkly formula it's just so pretty on the lips this one is in the shade fantasy i use this one all the time so i definitely noticed that i've been reaching for the elf lip lacquers I don't know, just not my favorite. This is an amethyst. I don't think e.l.f. actually sells these anymore, which sucks because it kind of is the same formula as the lip lacquers. This one is getting dry and it's just not the same formula. <laughs> Here's a really bad swatch there. But yeah, do you see how it's kind of, I don't know, it's not as glossy and it's really goopy. I think this needs to be tossed out. I did enjoy this though when it was in better condition. And this one is called Tea Rose, but it's not the same as like the classic Tea Rose from e.l.f. This is like purple. It's like cool toned purple. There's nothing rose about it. 
I feel like this is very similar to this AOA Studio Liquid Lipstick in Tease. And I just find, let me, let me swatch this next to it. I find that I like this better because it just lasts a lot longer and I don't have to worry about this transferring. So that is actually pretty close. So I'm gonna keep the AOA Studio one because I just like this formula better. And I just, again, I don't like dark glosses. <laughs> I just really don't. So I try not to buy them anymore unless I'm sent something from a brand, but yeah, I'm gonna let this one go. So here's all the lip glosses I'm getting rid of. I think I did pretty well considering some of these used to be my holy grail favorite. A lot of these have expired, unfortunately, but that's just how it is with lip products. All right, last but not least, I have like these kind of like lip tints. So they're not quite a gloss. They're not quite a bullet lipstick. They're not quite a liquid to matte. So these are hands down, you guys, my favorite like lip tint, my go-to everyday lip color. These are called the Hydrating Core Lip Shines from e.l.f. Cosmetics. These are so good. I want just a sheer wash of color. I don't want a lot of pigmentation, but I do want some hydration and I want a little bit of shine. And these are just so good. This is one of my favorites. This is called Joyful. Oh my God, it's the perfect everyday pink. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these. It's probably my favorite out of everything here. Okay, so this is another thing from e.l.f. It's called the Lip Lock Pencil. Now this is great to apply around, almost like a lip liner, but a little bit further out. And this prevents your lip color from bleeding outside the lip line. It's just a clear stick. I don't know if e.l.f. still sells this or not, but this has been a favorite for years. And I believe I do have a few more backups. It has a sharpener on the bottom. This is such a different, unique product. I don't reach for this that often, but when I do use it, it actually does work. So I am gonna be keeping this. All right, and the last product from e.l.f. is the, oh God, this is called the Sheer Slick Lip Tint or Lip. <laughs> I forget what it's called, but it's like the Sheer Slick Lip Product in the shade Dragon Fruit. Now, I know a lot of people rave about these, but I just find that this is too pigmented. This color is just not for me. It's like this hot pink. I don't know. I mean, the formula is nice. It is creamy. I just would prefer this in a lighter shade, like a nude. It's just not, it's just not my favorite. So I actually am going to get rid of this. It's just not my favorite. So this is a random lip product also. This is from Milani. This is that same packaging that those uh, like raved about matte lipsticks come in. I haven't tried those yet, but I picked up the sheer one. I think it's called their sheer balm. I forget what it's called. I still don't know how I feel about this product. I was hoping that this color was more of a, like a nude and it is a nude, but on my skin tone, it's actually a lot darker <laughs> than I was anticipating. Um, this feels really nice. Uh, this is very balmy, 110 lustful. And again, I was just hoping for a lighter nude because the packaging is a little bit lighter than what you see on the inside. I'll have to get back to you on whether I like this formula or not, but I think I definitely like this better than the e.l.f. one. All right, these two, I am obsessed. Now, when I think about like just a tint, like a lip tint, this is what I'm talking about. These are from ColourPop. It's called Just a Tint. And I have the shade Rise and Shine and Z Boys. I know it's a weird name, but it comes in like this jumbo stick. You guys remember Jordana Cosmetics, which I don't think they exist anymore, but I was obsessed with the, with the uh, Jordana like chubby lip pencils. And this has reminded me a lot of that, except for these are more of a thin formula. They're very, very hydrating, very balmy, and they're very sheer. So it gives just the slightest tint to the lips. So that's the shade Rise and Shine. It's a very orangey coral. These smell so delicious. No joke, you guys. They smell like a country peach iced tea. Oh, they smell so good. They're so moisturizing. I, I really hope that ColourPop keeps these around because I'm obsessed. All right, last but not least, you guys, we've come to the end of this video. The last product I'm gonna mention is the Merit. This is called their Tinted Lip Oil, and this is the shade Marrakesh. And can I just say, elegant. The packaging, the doe foot applicator, 
just a nice simple doe fit applicator i did a full video on merit beauty like reviewing all their products i typically like to wear lip oils on their own or maybe over a lip liner just because it's an oil so it will break down like a regular lipstick I just love this for like an everyday easy lip color. I absolutely love this formula. I want to get more shades because this is so good. It's so nourishing, comfortable. Um, it, it's just so nice. I don't know what else to say. So I'm only getting rid of one product, but that's okay. I don't have that many lip tints. That's about it. <laughs> just these few products here. But I definitely... I uh, want to try more products like this. I don't know. I just love that kind of like everyday easy like swipe it on something conditioning for the lips. That is it you guys. That completes all of my lip products. Oh my gosh this took forever but I hope you enjoyed this video and I think I did pretty good today. All right guys, so that's everything for today's makeup declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, I talk about cruelty-free beauty here on my channel and I upload every week. Tuesdays and Fridays are the usual upload. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. I know it's quite a few videos, but I actually really find it therapeutic to go through and swatch things and see if I need to get rid of anything, see if I still love some things. Some things I'll give like a second try, you know, put in my like maybe pile. So yeah, it was definitely a lot of fun and my hands are very, <laughs> my, I just know my hands are not too happy with all this watching and this dry winter skin is just killing me. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys are having a really great day wherever you are in the world and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.